So today we're at the pit. As you can see, there's a whole heap of white lines behind me, which only means one thing. The event we're going to talk about today is triple jump. Triple jump is like an extension of long jump. In long jump, you run and jump into a pit. In triple jump, you run in. Before you jump into the pit, you have to do a hop, step, and jump into the pit. Now the ages that do triple jump is the under 11s to under 17s. The first thing we need to do though is to prepare the pit. And we prepare it the same way as what we do with long jump. Let's have a look back at the long jump video to show you how we prepare it. So the first thing you need to do is make sure the run up is clear and you check the pit to make sure that it's free of any debris. Once the run up and the pit is clear of debris, the next thing you need to make sure is the sand is dug up so it's nice and soft to land in. If you have a rotary hoe, which can do it for you, awesome. If not, you have to use your muscles. What you will need is a shovel, a rake and a broom. The first thing you'll need to do is use your shovel to dig up the sand. It's as easy as putting it into the sand and lifting and turning. You'll have to guesstimate how far the kids will jump and you'll have to dig that far out. Once you've done that, you're going to use your rake to fill in the holes. Here's a little hint for you. Make sure that you're always pushing the sand towards the middle rather than pulling it out to the side because after a while, you'll find there'll be a valley. But on the other hand, you want to make sure that you don't also make a big mound in the middle. The next thing you want to do is use your broom just to smooth everything off a little bit to make it nice and flat. So let's have a look at a before and after of the pits I'm using today. So here is the before shot. And as you can see, the sand is rock hard. Now here is the after shot. A nice clear runway. Leading. to some soft sand. Don't forget, you will need to rake after every jump. So which board do kids take off from? Well, it just depends on how far they can jump. Your standard triple jump run up will start at a five meter board, then a seven meter board, then a nine meter board and 11 meter board. Here at this centre, they actually have a three metre board as well. Let's go have a look at them. So as we walk through the pit, the first board we come to here is the one metre long jump board. There's a three metre board. And remember, not all centres will have that one. There's the five, seven, nine and 11 metre takeoff board. Now, if you're not too sure which board is which, it's easy enough just to get a tape measure, just to double check. So how do we work out their run up? Well, it's just the same as what we would do for long jump. We would go by their age, give or take two strides each side. So if they're 13, we say a good run up is between 15 and 11 strides. Now, don't forget if an athlete already has a predetermined run up, maybe by a coach, allow them to use that run up instead. So what you want to do is choose an athlete to stand on the board, get them to run away from the pit and get someone else to count the number and mark the appropriate spot. Now always get that same child to run back from the mark, back to the board that they took off from to make sure that they are close or on the board. Here's a tip for you. Because kids may get confused on which line they're going to be taking off from, what we do is we place a big bright cone next to it so we know which one we're using. So 
So now we know about the different boards and how to measure our run up. You just need to remember that athletes can choose which board they will take off from. So it's not uncommon in an age group that you have two different kids jumping off two different boards. But you have to remember one thing for safety. Whichever board they take off from, you want to make sure that they will end up in the pit. Here's a little hint for you. Pre-list the athletes depending on which takeoff board they're going from. That just saves you from having to move the takeoff marker back and forth. So how do we teach triple jump? Well I know that's one thing that a lot of parents and volunteers are quite hesitant to do. But it's quite simple if you just change things around a little bit. What I'd say to the kids is we're not doing triple jump, we're doing a pattern jump. And the pattern that we want to do before we jump into the pit is hop, step and jump. I try not to use the word skip because there are some kids that will say I don't know how to skip. So what we want to teach is a hop, step and jump pattern. So all you need to help in teaching kids these pattern, three pairs of shoes or even some coloured cones. So what I'm going to do is use these shoes to indicate what foot lands where in this pattern. So here is a pattern. We get to take off board. If we hop with our right foot, we want to land on our right foot again. In the step, we then want to land on the other foot. And when we land in the pit, we land with feet together. If the athlete takes off from their left foot, they will land back on their left foot for the hop. They will land on their right foot for the step and land with both feet close together in the pit. And as you can see, I've color coded all the shoes. The easiest way to start is allow them just to walk it through and then as they get more confident to increase the speed. What you want to make sure is that their step is the same distance as their hop. You don't want to have one long hop and a short step. You want to make sure that they're equal distance. Another way to remember triple jump is the saying, same, other, both. What you want to do is the leg you take off with, you land on that same leg, then you step with the other foot, and then you land on both feet. Let me show you. Now, if you don't have shoes available, you can do the same thing using cones. Now, if kids don't know which one they're gonna hop with, especially if they're beginners, you could try setting two of these patterns up, one with the right hop, and the second one with people starting with the left hop. Now, once the kids get confident, and they're easily making the pit, you could do the exact same pattern jump, but using a board that's a little bit further back. So what is a foul in triple jump? It's pretty much the same as long jump. If any part of your foot goes over the front of the takeoff board, that is a foul. Also, like in long jump, if the athlete jumps and their jump phase lands outside the pit, for instance here, if they land on the grass with their jump phase, that is also a foul. After landing, it's a foul if an athlete turns around and walks straight back towards a takeoff area. And the one specific to triple jump is it is a foul if they do not complete the hop, step and jump sequence in that order. And obviously that also includes taking off from two feet. So 
So how do we measure in triple jump? It's just like in long jump. You measure from the takeoff area or the takeoff board to the landing in the pit. There's one thing you need to remember in triple jump though, that an athlete can choose or nominate which board they take off from. So it's not uncommon for, within an age group for an athlete to jump off a five metre board and a different athlete to jump off from the seven metre board. That is why we always suggest that you use a cone to indicate which board that, that athlete will be taking off from. So just like in long jump, here's the basic equipment for measuring. You've got the spike and you've got the measuring tape. And don't forget to thread the measuring tape over the spike, drop it down, making sure the centimetres is facing upwards. Now don't forget, the person who's spiking is always the one who's marking in the sand. The measurement is always taken from the front of the board. Once they land in the pit, it's measured from the closest break to the takeoff board. There's one thing though, it's always got to be perpendicular to the takeoff board, which means it's got to be pulled straight back. Not on an angle, it must come straight back. The tape is then pulled back and taken from the front of the takeoff board perpendicular to landing, which means straight back. So with the athlete has landed out on the side of the takeoff board, but still lands in the pit, let me show you a little trick that you can use with your rake or your broom to get the measurement perpendicular. All you do is extend the front of the board using your rake handle. You can now pull it through and take that measurement. So there you have it. So the hints and tips for triple jump to help you on your way. Don't forget, all these tips can be found on our website with our event fact sheets. Also, check out our YouTube channel where you can find playlists such as our Little Athletes at Home videos where kids can practice their athletics at home using modified equipment that they can make themselves. We also have videos with coach interviews and how-to videos as well. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you feel a lot more confident in helping out little athletics, but just remember a couple of things. Go out there, give it a go, but more importantly, be your best. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to send us an email or give us a call at the Little Athletics Office.